one purpose of this device uh, that we made was that we try to give therapies to people so that they can open the hand and extend their wrist. The glove could measure what people are doing. So they could measure the flexion and extension of the fingers and wrist. So as soon as we can measure what the patient is doing with the hand and wrist, we can then tune their therapies for them. But also remotely, the therapists were able to use internet and see what patients were doing and make the therapies change. Now the therapies that they had available to them were a series of interactive games. We said if we could make the games more addictive to people, then perhaps Perhaps they would like to play them more. And if the context of these games is something that is interactive enough and is repetitive enough, by getting them to repeat what they are doing more often because they're playing a game, we can get them to get better soon. So what we found was that we could actually impact some of the disabilities that they have. We could actually impact them to get better function in their in the hand and wrist. We use the information which we get from the glove sensors to get the person to interact more often because we believe that if they interact more often, they can get better faster and they can regain the function of the hand and wrist, therefore they can regain their personal independence.